Hey everybody, it's Angela. I'm back again to review my other birch box that I briefly spoke about in my other review. Um, this one is actually Birch Block Box Plus. So on this one, you actually get two full size items in addition to your regular birch box. Um, this is just a regular one. I didn't do the, you know, one that was curated by anybody and I didn't get to pick any of my samples. So this one is $30 a month and um, I'll give you, I briefly opened it because, you know, you can sneak peek it on um, the internet, but you can all, you know, I just peeked in here. Um, so I'll give you my opinion whenever we're done. So this is the Rifle, pa Rifle Paper Company box um, that, well, not their box, but, you know, they designed it. And I love this box, so I'm glad I ended up getting two this month. Um, so let's just go ahead and open it without talking too much. So it just tells you that this was designed by Rifle, Rifle Paper. And then it gives you a layout of everything that's in your box. And then, you know, these are just the regular um, sample sized items. And then these are the two full size items that I received. Um, I'm not going to really talk about that right in a second, but I'll tell you how I feel about it in a minute. Um, so the first thing is the Beaver Professional um, Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I received this in my other birch box, and I just made a mention that I really don't like getting shampoos and conditioners in boxes, and I wish I could, you know, put that in my profile. Um, somewhere I read that you can if you call them. So I may do that because, like I said, this is the second set of these I got um, in a box. And, you know, my profile is, they don't, go lay down. Sorry, that's my dog. Um, you know, they don't let you exclude this. Um, they will, will let you exclude, like, perfume. Or they'll, you know, ask you um, if you prefer it. And you can say, I don't want that. Um and then the conditioner. So, moving on from that. Uh, the next thing, um, I'll just pull this because I know that this is one of the samples. This is Paula's Choice, which I really like her line, um, especially the Resist one. Um, and this is a vitamin C spot treatment. I do have a spot treatment that I use, vitamin C treatment that I use right now, but I'd be happy to add this to the list. Um, of items that I can use. So this is 25% vitamin C and a full size would retail for $55. Um, it just says this concentrated treatment fades dark spots, combats redness, and minimizes fine lines, which is everything I need. So I'm happy to try that one. Um, let's see, the next thing that we got, um, speaking of like sample wise, is this, uh, I can't remember if this was a selection or not, but the Jane Ardell Just Kiss Lip and Cheek Stain. A full size would be 25, and this is obviously not a full size. It's really small and cute. Um, oops. But this is one of those ones that you put on, and it, uh, you know, you see how it looks kind of clear, kind of, you know, with this a little tinge to it. It actually will change according to your body chemistry. And I've heard this is pretty good. So happy to get that. I mean, that's a, I know it looks tiny, but it's a good amount to try. And then the Jouer tint full size would be $22. This is a two in one pigment that gives lips and cheeks a wash of creamy color. So this is something like a cream. And this, this is a little um, cardboard. Yeah, it's a cream. This is a little cardboard. Uh, what you call it? I don't know thing. <laughs> so I don't really like cream products, but I don't want to complain about it because I really have not tried this. And um, I like this brand in general. I love their lip glosses because they're not sticky. So, you know, this is, this is something good to try for, especially for the summer. Okay. And then on to my full size items. And this is where I'm not very happy because I would have just, you know, that would have been $10. I could have reviewed those and probably got, you know, five or five or so dollars worth of birch box, you know, points to use in the shop. Well, I did choose to upgrade this to the birch box plus, which is $30. I got a Lord and Berry back in black high performance mascara, and this is $23. Okay. So these two 
really paid for the $30, but I really didn't want another mascara. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just, $23, I have a ton of mascaras already. I just wouldn't have, you know, paid for it. So I feel like I kind of got the short end of the stick on this because when you look at my profile, it actually said that I was going to receive something else. It was like, I think it was by Lord & Berry, but it was um, two different eyeliners, like full size in this little pouch. And like, you know, it was worth more than this mascara. And plus, I just don't need a mascara. I mean, not that they would know that, but <clears throat> it says a deep onyx natural wax formula that lengthens and volumizes for bombshell caliber lashes. So I'm not going to open this, but, you know, I'm not very happy about it. I definitely wouldn't have paid $30 for a box that only got a mascara and a nail polish. Um, so this is the nail polish. I will say this nail polish bottle is so cute. It's fat and squatty. I've never had a polish like this, nor have I ever seen this brand. It's called, it's by Smith and Cult. Um, the color is Pillow Pie. And a full size of this would be $18. Um, it says the smooth semi-sheer pink polish is chip resistant, super shiny, and five free. So, of course, I have, like I said, I've never heard of this brand. Um, but I'll definitely give it a try. I love nail polish. So, I just hope it's not one of those really sheer ones. But we'll see. So, you know, really, I mean, if you think about it, it's like... <laughs> $41 these two things would be, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to pay $23 for that mascara anyway. <laughs> so, um, you know, and then this is $10. So I guess, you know, it is worth it, but it just really depends on, you know, what they send you. I don't know. I was kind of disappointed only because I thought I was going to get something else and it ended up being a mascara. So anyway, that's my Birch Box Plus. I will likely keep it for one more month and see how it is because I just don't want to give up give up on it right away. I will contact customer service about the difference in what's on my profile and what I received in my box. But other than that, you know, like I said, I'll try it for one more month and go from there. So thanks for watching.